Well, there wasn't much to do in the 1970s, and being a child of the 70s myself, you could kick a football and play outside, but soon you could got to go to the cinema and witness science fiction like Silent Running, Star Wars and Star Trek. Walt Disney wanted in on the action though, and came up with its very own live action sci-fi film, The Black Hole. This had robots, a black hole, spaceships, and was the answer to Star Wars and the insurgence of sci-fi. Walt Disney also then moved into other films such as Tron in 1982. But The Black Hole is what we're to talk about, starring Maximilian Schell, Robert Forster, Joseph Bottoms, Yvette Minimo, Anthony Perkins and Ernest Borghini. While the voices of the main robot characters were in by Roddy McDowell and Slim Pickens, who were actually uncredited, unfortunately. The film was dark, eerie, and I loved it. So why is this a thing? Well, back in 1970s, there was all the publications and kids' magazines of the time. Look in Star Wars Mad Magazine. And in one of these magazines, there was a competition where you could win the real life Vincent from the Black Hole. How cool would that have been to win, and I mean win, your very own Vincent from the black hole? How intolerable to your friends could you have been? You could have really stuck it in your faces and it was achievable because it was in Look In Magazine. But unfortunately, like most things, hope leads to disappointment. And disappointment, it was indeed. I hadn't won and it had gone to somebody else, apparently in the United States somewhere. And good for them. Now, years later, the Vincent model happened to turn up on a website that I follow called Profiles in History. No surprise that any piece of Disney movie history is gonna fetch a hefty price with a list price for auction between $40,000 and $60,000. And Profiles in History put a fantastic video display of the actual model that was up for auction on their website and the link will be included in with this video. But it did show Vincent in all its glory with electronics and LEDs still operating, which is a great thing after all this time when you consider how electronics can degrade. And a lot of these props are generally built with the premise that they've only got to last a couple of months and it'll look good enough on camera. This model, however, did look like it had a little bit of restoration work done it to get it in place everything fantastic and everybody in the Vincent Builders groups then turned and had a reference point to look at that was actually physical and in front of them. Well, no surprise that as I mentioned with the list price of between forty and sixty thousand dollars, the Vincent model sold for a whopping forty thousand dollars. And very well done to the person who shelled out and owns that bit of movie history. So where does that leave me? Well, with the recent resurge in 3D printing and the affordability of 3D printers, I decided to go out and get myself a CR10 Creality S4. And this is a 400 by 400 3D printer that I got from GearBest.com. And my plan is to go out and 3D print a Vincent from the black hole. How easy is that? Well, I'm sure it's harder. But if you like what you're seeing so far and want to know more, hit that like and subscribe button and also that notification icon. And that'll let you know I'm putting more videos on YouTube. I also went out and went onto Facebook and joined the Vincent Builders Group, which is a great community of people. And then thought, well, to sort of like put my own stuff down as well, I thought I'll devise my own Facebook group as well, the Ricardo's Vincent Building Group. So I went on the Facebook group for the Vincent Builders and soon I was able to source a set of prints that would allow me to 3D print Vincent in all his glory in sort of one-to-one -one scale size and you can, also, you, know, you can scale things down to make things a bit small if you haven't got the space but I thought if you're gonna do it do it large. Um, I've already built uh, an R2-D2 that is studio scale as well and a member of the R2-D2 Builders Club so as a result I'm used to working with life-size models and building life-size props, also with the electronics as well. As you can see from a 400 by 400 build plate for the Creality CR10 S4, certain things would fit and certain things would have to be chopped down and, and sliced up and printed in sections and glued and screwed together and all that sort of thing. This is because I basically couldn't afford the S5 that has a 500 by 500 build plate um, and also it's a big old unit that, and you gotta think about the space in your house. So, 
fortunately, this one particular model was already sliced up in con into convenient parts as well um, and can be made available to people from the person who made the file. Uh, and as a result of that, I'm not at liberty to give it out. However, I am going to go through videos on how I do build the certain individual sections, how long they print out, what settings I've used, the orientation as well on the build plate, along with how much material I actually use. Now this is going to be a huge labour of love for me to build this studio scale Vincent from the black hole. And as a result of which, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say money is no object, I'm not going to throw needless amounts of money at it, but even though, you know, you don't want to spend a fortune. And of course all the resources that are outside on the internet now and the studio stills and the DVD as well that's been made available for quite a few years can give you good insight onto the colours of what Vincent can be used for. Now fortunately I've got access to a spray shop, albeit temporarily, before that one individual retires. And, you know, getting it printed to a stage with nice enamel paint is going to do whatever model a huge amount of justice. Also, you know, sanding, using some body filler like Bondo or Stopper and good grade and grit sandpaper is going to be a must to get this at anywhere near because my hope is, is to display it inside my house. Now, how geeky is that? Now, I know what you're saying. Oh my God, his missus must be going mental and she is going mental. But hey, you know, it's a house that we both share. And if I've got to watch Coronation Street and all those soap operas, well, then I can at least look at my lovely studio scale Vincent while I'm doing so. I'm going to put LED lights in it, you know, pendameter circuits and chasing LEDs. But I'm not going to go too overboard with it because I want it as, as sort of like 70s retro as I possibly can while still saying, staying sort of true to the movie model itself. So that's the plan. And that's why I've taken you on this seven or eight minute journey through why I'm doing it. Like and subscribe if you've only done so and check out for more videos. I've been Ricardo and I'm building Vincent from the black hole.